Hi folks, we're just waiting for a few more people to come online and then we'll get underway. Thank you. Hi everyone, thank you for taking the time to join us today on this webinar. Today's webinar we will be taking a look at MYOB Advanced and the benefits uh, for you and your business of this amazing tool. Uh, we'll be giving you an overview of MYOB Advanced, followed by the all important product demo, followed by some questions and answers. Now, before we begin, uh, a little bit of housekeeping if you don't mind. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to pop those in the chat function in your viewing console. We will try to get it to as many questions as we can towards the end of the webinar. Um, if we run out of time and uh, we don't get to some of those questions uh, live today, uh, we will make a point to follow up with uh, each of you on a one-on-one -on -one basis regarding your questions afterwards. Um, and lastly, this webinar is going to be recorded and a recording will be available on demand to you after the webinar. So let me introduce you to the team today. So on the left, you have myself, Wayne. I'm a client relationship manager for Verde. Um, my history from a work experience point of view is around about 20 years worth of experience uh, in cu various customer facing roles in quite a few countries around the world. I've been quite lucky to have done a bit of professional travel in my time. Um, Really what's important for me is a strong focus on customer intimacy and developing lasting relationships with clients. Um, really enjoy working on uh, strategy with our client base to find efficiency gains and improve their business practice. Basically, I like to make everyone's day a little easier. Um, personally, I have a strong belief in lifelong learning and am currently studying a bachelor's degree in psychology and uh, really the driver there is to better understand people and their behaviors um, which i hope to apply to a commercial environment my colleague joining me today is Juanita. Um, Juanita has extensive experience in international marketing trends. Uh, she's worked for several large international companies um, and has always had a focus for delivering quality service in a consistent manner. Um, one of the things that I enjoy about Juanita is she um, loves a good story and the story she uh, loves hearing the most about are stories of customer success and triumph. Um, now, Juanita is part of our Verde senior leadership team, so she does work alongside the rest of that team and our CEO around delivering long-term strategy and guidance uh, to the Verde group. Um, and she also happens to be an absolute wizard in YOB Advanced. Um, one of the things that um, is quite exciting is Juanita has a unique talent, I suppose, for explaining very complex ideas in a very simple and meaningful way. Um, and you can imagine how valuable that is in a normally technically rich environment. So let's um, talk a little bit about why this is important um, and why having a digital transformation attitude is critical. So you will no doubt have heard the phrase digital transformation thrown around quite a bit. Um, while it can sometimes seem a bit ambiguous and almost cliched, it, it is actually quite an important concept. Uh, and if done correctly, can be an absolute game changer for you and your business. When we talk about digital transformation, we're essentially talking about leveraging our digital environment to the absolute max and ensuring we transform our business using the tools available. Historically speaking, I suppose, most organizations really see their digital environments as something that stops pain and solves problems. 
but we need to shift that on its head and look at digital transformation as being more about leveraging tools to drive positive change, uh, not just fix negative issues. Most businesses, uh, interestingly enough, find themselves in a rather analog world of multiple disparate systems. Um, these systems generally struggle to talk to each other. Uh, they often lead to multiple data sources, no clear picture as to where the truth lies. Um, one just has to look at organizations that run a, a certain tool for accounting uh, to manage the numbers, another tool for CRM for sales, inventory management, etc. We can see that this list sort of goes on and on depending on the business activity. The downside of this uh, situation is each of these tools is quite intensive. It requires maintenance, training, upgrades, there's its own, its own costs associated and um, you generally have to deal with multiple support teams to help you out if something goes wrong. What we're talking about uh, today is uh, bringing this all into one database, uh, encompassing all areas of the organization and looking to use modern technology to run a digital business in a much more effective way, uh, also whilst maintaining world-class security and remote access. Yeah, truly cloud-based, uh, need to have meaningful data at your fingertips. Having all this technology uh, is not in itself a recipe to success. Um, at the end of the day, it's people in the organization that are responsible to effectively use that technology to drive the success of the business. Uh, I always use the analogy that a tool is meaningless if it never comes out of the tool chest. Um, we need to be cognizant that people need to adopt the technology and use it to the max. And really, the only way to ensure this is to make it easy, logical, and simple to use. So the technology needs to work well with the people and the processes of the business. Uh, and we believe that that will drive the success within that community. So let's take a high level look at MYOB Advanced and uh, where it sits in MYOB's arsenal of products. Hopefully for most organizations, um, there comes a point where the world of accounting software is no longer fit for purpose. Now that sounds like a problem, but it's actually a great experience because it generally means that the business has gone through significant growth uh, and there exists a real need for more robust and comprehensive solutions that encompass, I suppose, more than a simple GL and a financial system. When that happens, uh, we high five everybody around the table because it's a good thing and we accept that we are now in the world of ERP. So you can see here by the slide that in the MYOB stable of products, uh, they have three products geared at that market, which is MYOB EXO, Advanced and Greentree. Today our focus is primarily going to be on MYOB Advanced um, as being the most uh, modern cloud-based application in the lineup. So let's have a little bit of a history lesson. MYOB Advanced was introduced into the ANZ market in 2014 um, as the first true cloud ERP solution built for that marketplace. Uh, we have seen other competitors enter that market, uh, but Advanced is still the clear leader. In 2018, the client base grew by 43% to roughly 500 clients. Uh, and in 2019 and 2020, that trend continued. And uh, last I checked, it was sitting around about 1,000 sites, which is great. Continuing with our history lesson, um, MYOB Advanced, while it has been localized and regionalized, it is not an ANZ-specific product. It is actually uh, got its pedigree from an international piece of software called Acumatica. MYOB have simply bought the rights to regionalize Acumatica for the ANZ space. They've rebranded the product as MYOB Advanced. Um, and uh, basically looked at uh, how ANZ customers can benefit from this by adding some regionalization functionality. For example, um, bank feeds. Bank feeds is a great example of that. So Acumatica are based in the USA. Um, the benefit for our customers, both current and future, is that uh, Advanced will continue to evolve in line with global requirements. Acumatica are definitely hitting their stride. Um, they are in the high growth phase of their product life cycle and gaining real traction in the market, which certainly bodes well for all of us. Currently around six and a half thousand plus total customers uh, and their growth statistics um, mean that they are still the fastest growing cloud ERP vendor. Let's start looking at what this means for the product and why it matters to you. The goal with any great ERP is ultimately a unified system, a single source of the truth, remote connectivity and reduced complexity. You can see by this slide that this ethos has been closely followed by the advanced team. Advanced focus is uh, really around 
um, access from anywhere, total remote connectivity. One just has to look at recent uh, global events and you can understand the power of uh, having a truly remote team. So Advanced has been built for the cloud and it has been built for a mobile workforce. It runs on any device, on any browser. It has a comprehensive and responsive adaptive design. Basically what that means is screen resizes based on the device being used. Uh, it means that real work can be performed uh, using just about any device without learning a new user interface. The mobile toolkit is particularly powerful. Uh, it makes it easy to display on screens uh, on an iOS or Android phone. So a good example of this is to actually use phone cameras as barcode scanners. Um, so I suppose one last slide uh, from my side um, is to talk about the breadth of the functionality that exists within MYB Advanced. Now we've been speaking a lot about having a uh, one system to rule them all, but we also have to be mindful that in certain industries uh, there exists hyper specialization so for us a good way to explain that is if you were running a retail company and you needed a specific point of sale um, with advanced open api there exists opportunity there for customers who have a hyper specialization um, and will require an industry specific st solution so with that, I want to thank you for your time. I uh, hope you found that introduction interesting. Um, I suppose onto the good stuff. And I'm going to turn this over to Juanita, who's going to run through a product overview demo. And then we'll move on to the questions section. Thank you, Juanita. Thanks, Wayne. Um, hey, everyone. My name is Juanita. And um, thank you so much for joining me today for this overview demo of MYOB Advanced. Buckle your seatbelts because we are going to go pretty quick here. But what I want to do is just lay the foundation so that, you know, hopefully you are intrigued enough to come back and see a little bit more about MYOB Advanced. Um, so this demo is a high level overview demo, but it should give you a good feel for the system. So the first thing I'm going to do today is log us into the website and because MYOB Advanced is a cloud-based system, anywhere where you've got access to the internet, you'll have access to Advanced. So whether that be from a laptop or a PC, a tablet or maybe even a mobile phone using the MYOB Advanced mobile app, as long as you've got that internet connection, you'll have access to your business data that lives within Advanced. So Advanced supports multi-company, uh, multi-branch, and multi-currency. And from my login screen, you can see I have the ability to actually choose which company I would like to log into. Now, this is user-defined, and if my user does not have access to that, they will not see this field. So I'm just going to jump straight into my system now. Yeah. MYOB Advanced is a role-based system, so what that means is that all of your users and employees that are accessing the system will only have access to those features and functions that they need to complete their job. So somebody like a controller, for example, is absolutely only going to have access to things like the profit and loss report or the balance sheet, um, but somebody like a sales representative likely would not be able to access those type of financial reports. Now. I am logged in as a super user today, and please keep in mind that my demo system has all the features enabled. When we activate your site, we only actually enable what is relevant to your business, so thus you'll only see the menus and screens relevant to your organization. So when you jump into advanced, you're presented with your dashboard. Uh, my dashboard today happens to be centered around the sales manager. But quite easily, if I go to data views, I can jump into a controller dashboard. And for example, um, here I will see things relating to the financial aspects of the business, such as the account receivable, cash positions, or maybe those bills that need to get paid. So if I jump over onto a shipping and inventory dashboard, you will see my dashboard now looks very different. Um, I might have a more tactical dashboard that is showing me all the activities I need to complete, such as sales orders I need to um, ship or um, POs I need to receipt. Um, and these dashboards are really easy to configure and design. I can just click here on design and you'll see that all these fields are actually little widgets. I can easily drag and drop them around, or even just add a new widget. I can add things like such as charts or data tables, certain KPIs or trend cards. 
And for those of you that like using Power BI, um, as we have a full integration of Power BI, you can even bring in your information from Power BI into your dashboard. Now, we do have the ability to change the company or the branch at any point. Of course, this is if I've got access to do so um, by just clicking and selecting which company I would like to see. So if I had to click on Christchurch, we would only see the information on our dashboard relevant to Christchurch. And I can easily jump back to Auckland um, all without having to log in and out the entire time. If we now look here at the menu options here on the left, you will see the different workspaces. Now, again, I have everything turned on in the system. Um, Advances a fully comprehensive ERP. You can see that we have everything related to finance and accounting, inventory and distribution, project accounting, even a full field services management um, module. And then of course, the CRM module that's embedded throughout advanced. Based on your requirements, these will be enabled in your system. This menu is also completely customizable. So I can click on here, I can edit the menu, and I can remove what I don't want to see or add in what I want to see. We can also quite easily collapse this menu, making our real estate a bit bigger. So if we are using a small screen or an iPad, now let's go ahead and look at one of our workspaces. So if we look at our payables workspace, um, again, because it's a cloud solution, we can right click and we can open any of these in a new tab. So we can have multiple tabs open at any point. But when you jump into this workspace, you might feel a bit overwhelmed, right? Um, so what we do is we allow you the ability um, to focus only on those things that are important to you to see. So we can actually just show a quick menu or you can see the full menu, but you have the ability to actually go in and edit and tick what you want to see and what's relevant to your job every day. This is all user defined. Um, so each user can go and create that for himself. The other thing that's really great to, we can do is we've got these tiles at the top, which are like quick tiles, but we can go in and we can edit this or rename it, especially for someone coming off a basic accounting solution that might feel a bit overwhelmed in navigating the system. We can go and change the title to say, hey, Mary, this is where you create AP invoices, right? And that will change that. We can also actually just add this to her favorites. And if we come in here, you'll only see all the functions that are relevant to your daily job. Um, so you may choose to drive everything from your favorites. And there we can see our tile. Now, to that point, one of my favorite tools within Advance is a tool called the Universal Search. Um, like the name implies, Literally anything can be searched within advance. So if I jump in the search function and I let's search IRD, you will see it will bring up any menu items relating to that. Obviously, no menu items for IRD or any transactions relating to IRD or maybe any help topics relating to the IRD. Now, these help topics are all wikis and they can also include wikis about your organization. So completely um, customized wikis or help functions relating to your team. So what I do find quite helpful is say, if a customer maybe calls up with a question, I can ask the customer for a few digits of their phone number and I can enter it in here. And quickly the system will return. There I can see this is the customer, the phone number and who we're talking to. Now you can see it was really quite easy for me to access that information very quickly. Um, I might want to search for a certain opportunity. So let's have a look at opportunities where I know I've sold smart Wi-Fi. And oh, there we can see the opportunity that I want to look at. So if we jump into that opportunity, um, I'm just going to use this. Um, to show you some of the CRM capability within Advanced. Um, and by the way, CRM is not seen as a separate module. It is actually embedded throughout Advanced. Um, it's a standard feature. So in this opportunity, we can actually see all the tasks relating to the opportunity. Um, I have the ability to create tasks and reminders, and these will be visible on my dashboard. Um, or I can even create little reminders for myself when tasks are due. 
So from this opportunity, I can go and create a quote or I can go and create a sales order. And Avance allows you to track all activities from lead to order to invoice. Another great feature, um, because Advance is cloud-based, is I can quite easily copy the link to this screen, send it to my colleague, and if they've got access to this um, screen, they can just click on the link and they'll come through right to the same screen that you are on. So quite convenient when you want to refer someone to a specific invoice, just send them the link and they can access it. The other thing we can do is we can actually come in here and we can say get link. We can send it externally or we can actually send it from within the system. Now what this will do, it will actually create a record against this opportunity again just showing you that CRM capability and tracking all activities relating to a record. So we have the ability to attach files anywhere within advance so in any record that you're in we can attach different files and or we can create notifications for ourselves. We also have on-screen help so if I'm in, a, I'm in an opportunity right now but I could be in an AP bill I can just click on the help function here and it will show me the help relevant to the screen that I'm currently within. And quite easily I can jump into my help and you will see a full help menu available to all users step by step on how to use the system. Another feature that I would like to show you in advance is how easy it is to have a look at your information. So let's jump to our sales orders for this example. Now, looking at all our sales orders, we have the ability to customize these columns. We can easily take out the, the columns that we want to see or add columns that we would like to see. But quite easily, we can also add different filters. So I might want to add the scheduled shipment date as a filter, and it's as easy as just dragging and dropping it at the top. Now, I've created different filters and also created different tabs here at the top. So I've gone and created a specific filter just to show me my sales orders. If we jump again to all records, if we look at this line right here, I want to maybe see quickly a bit more information about Video City. So what I can do is just click here on the right and it will bring up the information about this customer. So here we can see the customer information. Or maybe I want to see who the salesperson is for this customer. Again, I can just click on this function and it will show me that Brooke is the salesperson. Or I can go and have a look at all Brooke's customers down here. Now these fields are all customizable, so we can design and put in what relevant information you would like to see pertaining to your report. Another really great function of Advanced is the ability to integrate with other solutions. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate the Outlook integrations. Here, um, so here you'll see an email from a customer that's come through with their credit application form. Right, and he will note that I've got a little MYB Advanced plugin right here at the top, so I can jump into that and it will link with the MYB Advanced system. Right, so within my Outlook email, I can go and I can create Wayne as a lead. So there we go. This is Wayne. He's from Video City, and I'm going to create him as a lead in advance. Now he's sent through his credit application. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to create an opportunity. And I'm doing this all from Outlook. So let's create that opportunity. All right, and because it's a real-time integration, I don't have to wait for synchronization or anything. If I come back into advanced, um, I might not sh be sure how to search for it, but I know it was for Wayne. Um, so I can search by surname. Let's find him. Oh, there we go. There's Wayne. He's been created in advanced. Um, and let's see where the opportunity is. There we go. There's the opportunity with the credit application. And if we then view this opportunity, we can see here's the email that Wayne sent through to me. Um, I can see that the credit application is attached. So if I click on that little yellow icon there, there we see the credit application that's come through my email. So within any record in advance, like I mentioned, you have the ability to attach files um, or create little notifications.
Now, if you love working with Excel, another great feature of Advanced is the live data connection with Excel. So let's jump to our shipping and inventory dashboard quickly for this. So I'm just going to go and have a look at all my sales orders and quotes that I have in the system. I know I've got a wiki set up for that. So let's jump into our sales orders and quotes. Uh, yeah, we can see the reports returned 1,500 records for us here. Um, and what I can do within advance is go and create um, a pivot. So here you can see something that looks more like an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, quite easily, I can edit this. And like you would edit a pivot in Excel, we can drag and drop the different columns and the rows. Jump out of that, and there we can see our pivot. But with a live data connection with Excel, what I can do here is I can push this out to Excel. Now I'm only going to export the 150 top rows for this demo. Great, so have a look at this Excel spreadsheet that we've exported. There we go. We'll just enable that. And you will see that the system is bringing up a warning to say that there's external data connections. We want to enable that. Right, so now we have an Excel report set up um, for our sales orders and quotes. So all throughout the day, people have been processing sales orders and quotes. And now tomorrow morning, I come in and instead of getting a new Excel spreadsheet, so all I have to do is come in and refresh my data. Now, because I've previously logged into this spreadsheet, um, the system has remembered my login details. If you haven't done so previously, the system will ask you to log in again to make sure that this is secure. But all I have to do is click on refresh data and you will see that the system will run a refresh on all my data. And this will now be updated with the latest information from Advanced. So this is quite helpful if you have management team that would like an Excel spreadsheet every day with updated information. So instead of having to come into the system to get the information, we can set this up and they get a live Excel spreadsheet with a feed every day. Quite easily, what we can do is push this data into Power BI. Um, should you wish, you can then go and play with your data and segment it even further in Power BI with that integration that we have. Advance comes pre-configured with a number of standard reports. Um, and you will note as I go through these workspaces, there are a number of standard reports included within each functionality. But what we do have is um, what we call a generic inquiry, whereby we can design any custom reports you require. So part of the implementation is also to train you how to create your own reports. If there's data in advance, we can slice and dice it and create a report for you. Um, and any of these reports can then be turned into a little widget and we can publish that onto your dashboard or even push that up to the mobile app. Um, just as an example, let's quickly go and have a look at a profit and loss report. You can set the parameters and these are all customizable. We can build different templates for you. I'm just going to put in the period there quickly and let's run this report. So all the reports within advance has a similar um, feel to it. You have the ability to print it. We can send it from within the system or we can even export it to Excel or PDF. Now I have the ability to drill down on everything within the report so you can drill down and see how that figure is actually made up. I can further drill down and here you can see that the GL code and the sub accounts, um, your general ledger account structure in essence could be up to 40 characters. Um, lastly, um, just a quick look at the MYOV Advanced Mobile app. So this is available from any smartphone, um, whether you're using iOS or Android. And as you can see, I have access here to all my business data on the go. Um, I can quite easily submit um, expense receipts. I can do quotes from within here. I can even submit sales orders. Another really nifty functionality that we have within the mobile app is our warehouse management. So no need to go and buy additional um, scanners to pick and pack. So you can see that I can use my mobile phone through the mobile app to actually scan a shipment using the barcode. 
So the MOAB Advanced uh, Mobile app is really handy for those on the go or using it in the warehouse. Um, quite a lot of functionality within the app, um, completely customizable. Um, we can also push data out onto the app that you would like to see. Um, yeah, so that is just a quick overview of the MYOB Advanced Mobile app. Another thing is that each instance of Advanced also gives you the ability to have a customer portal. This portal would be completely branded with your company details. Now within this portal, customers have the ability to place orders should you choose to do that. They can view their invoices or their statements if you want to make that available to them. They can even raise support issues or tickets if that is what you would like to do. But each instance of Advance includes a customer portal should you wish to make use of it. So I know that went really quickly and I was quite fast, um, but I hope that that gave you a bit of a feel for how easy it is to work within Advanced. So thank you very much for joining us today. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look at some of the questions that's come through here. Um, yeah, so the first one here, what about data migration from my current solution? Yeah, sure. So we have a number of tools available that will allow us to migrate you from one solution to another. So um, if you're coming off of account right or zero or even another ERP, um, we have a number of migration tools that we have built that will help you with the migration process. Um, the great thing is that we have years and years of experience working on implementations and doing those data migrations. So no problem whatsoever to get your data migrated to the new system. Um, just having a look here. Um, and if we do not get around to your question, we will try and answer everyone individually afterwards. Um, just since um, having a look at the time here. Um, how is Advanced License? Well, Advanced is subscription based. It's a monthly subscription and it's licensed per named user. Um, traditionally, with most ERPs, you're charged for the suite. Um, for example, you would need to buy the distribution suite and then also the users. But with advanced, you only license the user. So they might be a finance user or a distribution user or a project user or an employee user. Um, and they all have access to different functionality within the system. But we help you define those user needs when we scope your solution as some of the roles might overlap. Um, just to add, your subscription also includes hosting your data and your data security um, and all your upgrades are included as well. So no need to worry about upgrades again. And um, if you are on an on-premise solution, no need to ever worry again about hardware maintenance. Um, yeah, so another one here, uh, can I get a more in-depth demo for stock or uh, management. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we will get in touch and set that up. If anyone would like to see a more in-depth demo regarding any of the functionality, um, get in touch with our team and we will arrange that for you. Um, there's a few questions here. Uh, we will respond to them individually. But from my side, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, really appreciate it and hope to see you soon. Thanks, Juanita. That was absolutely amazing. Folks, um, obviously, this MYOB Advanced is a full ERP from end-to-end -end solution. Uh, we certainly don't expect in a 30 to 40 minute webinar to show you everything. Um, this is more just a trailer reel to give you a feel for the solution. We'd absolutely love it if we could uh, do a more deep dive demo for you around your situation and show you uh, even more underneath uh, the solution. So if this is something that interests you, please uh, reach out to us and we'll be happy to set up something that's uh, a lot more targeted and specific around your business's requirements. Um, and yeah, we can um, see if we can wow you even more. Thank you very much for making the time to join us today and look after yourselves.